A GPS tracks is basically a start and end and a bunch of waypoints in between for a route. And you can either get it from a friend, see how he has taken a motorcycle trip and he recorded the trip. Or you can get it from places such as Backcountry Discovery Routes that has excellent uh, routes on backcountry roads, a lot of them dirt roads. If you want to import the GPS tracks into Garmin Basecamp, by default, the little line after you click File and then Import, that line is grayed out. And in order to make it active, you just need to click on Library, the little green folder, and click My Collection, because then Garmin Basecamp has a place to put the GPS tracks. When you click File again, then the Import into My Collection is active. And then you just browse to wherever you have the GPS tracks located, double click on the track, and then it'll import it into the map. I don't like the default dark green color, so I always change it to, and you do that by double clicking under my collection on the route name. And then in the upper right hand corner, you can see you have the options of different colors. So I always choose magenta because it really pops and then you just close the little window. In order to transfer the file from Garmin Basecamp to the Zumo, you just have to plug the Zumo into your computer and you just have to make sure that the Garmin Basecamp sees the Zumo. In order for Garmin Basecamp to see the Zumo, you have to have Garmin Express installed. It's just an intermediate layer between the hard and software. It is not that uncommon for Basecamp not to find the Zumo device, even if Garmin Express sees it. Uh, so what you need to do is just unplug the USB cable on the backside of the Zumo, and the Zumo will turn off, and when you plug the cable back in, the Zumo will turn back on again. And if Basecamp doesn't see it again, just try a different USB port on your computer and that usually solves it. So in order to use the track on your Zumo, you need to go into the Basecamp and click on device and then send to device and then again, send my collection to the device. And once you do that, you get a little pop-up window and then you can just click on the memory card click OK and they'll transfer the track to your Zumo. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Have a good ride. More videos to follow.